Crime tape crisscrossed the corner of East Butler and Mulberry Street after a deadly shooting. Police say two people were shot. One of them died, and another is in the hospital. It was definitely chaotic. Everybody was going in different directions. Verlina Saxon was inside the National Civil Rights Museum when the shooting happened, and afterward, her car was stuck inside the crime scene. So we went to the gift store, we looked out of the window, and that's when I, that I saw that, that a lot of chaos and, and and I'm like, okay, God, what is going on? And I was, it was actually definitely very fearful. But I'm like, my girlfriend, she was praying. I'm like, hey, man, we good. But I don't know what's going on outside. Police haven't said what led up to the shooting, but I counted at least 15 evidence markers on the ground and one bullet hole in this white car. The shooting also happened right behind Chris Stiles' Celebrity Salon, which is a partnership with Memphis basketball coach Penny Hardaway. I talked with the owner off camera. He said the victims weren't customers at the shop, but he said what happened tonight is unfortunate. A somber tone that resonated with tourists like Saxton. Someone lost their life today. That's the saddest part about it. It's senseless. Uh, no matter what happened, there's no reason to take somebody's life. I don't care what. So that's what's really heartbreaking today. And literally within the past five minutes, we just got a statement from Coach Penny Hardaway about this incident. It says, quote, Penny Hardaway is saddened by today's events that took place on Mulberry Street. He continues down and says that Penny will continue to speak out against crime and violence in the Memphis community. End quote. Now, police just told me that they had, at this time, they don't know if the suspects and the victims knew each other. All they know at this point is that the suspects got away in a black infinity. Now, if you have any...